Good morning. Okay. It's my Michael. Hey. 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 Wow. Wow. Yo. Pod. 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 Hey. Pod. Can we? Nah. Hey. Oh, blah. Bang. What? Shut up. Ha ha. Okay. What's up? Shut up. Can we not? Can we not? Podcast. What? Can we not? Can we not? Podcast. Bop. <laughs> just wanted to get in the season. That's all. I just you gotta to get, get in the season. It's Wapptober. Wapptober is Wapsember, nigga. Wapsember, my bad. You know, yeah, time flies, man. Time flies. It's Wapsember, my nigga. Wap we, in the bim- we in the building, trapping all the way, right? Wapuary. It's coming up around the corner. Shh. Dashing through the holes. That's why I got the do rag on, man. You see what I should have kept mine on. See what I'm doing out here. Yeah, you you're cold. Cold blooded. Exactly, my nigga. <laughs> we out here. But once again, hello, welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time of day you're listening to this, this is the Can We Not Podcast. <laughs> Episode 58? We, you got to stop. 78? Doing no. 76. Yes. 70. You jumped like you went back. <laughs> 22 episodes. Then you went forward one episode. All right, we 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 gonna be we gonna we gonna get there. Episode seventy six, shit is lit. Hey. That's right, we back in the building. Yeah. So once again, a shout out to Sky's Cursor Radio, shout out to City World Radio, shout out to Jade, shout out to Tone, help us out on the microboards and the um the cameras, all the cameras is on, cameras on, cameras is on, cameras is on, cameras is on. Oh shit, we got five, six, seven different cameras in the building. We in here, gang, 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 hey. every day. Wow. Boom, me, your host. Evan Cumbest, the one and only Pod Piper himself, aka ASAP Nappy. Huh? I try to hit him with that that throwback. No, was that Jason Duro? No, no, <laughs> no. Um, and then we have my co-host in the building. We Here. have Akai, aka what I write, what I write, what I write, <laughs> what I write, what I write. Known as Akai, Akai on a Grande, uh, Akai, Akai Leonard. No, he's Far Rockaway's finest. Ah. How did I forget this, man? I, just, I write this every week. Like, a lot of people forget about Far Rockaway, so it's all good. Don't it's worry. Bad. You're Far Rockaway's finest. Akai is in the building. Yer. Hey. Akai, you hard work. Hey, okay. I, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's what we have this week. Hey. Um, How was your weekend, bro? Weekend was lit. I went to go see the family, celebrate my grandma's birthday. Shout out, Grandma. Got on more life. Hey. Back on that steamy shit. Back on that, back on that, back on that. <laughs> <laughs> also, shout out to my mom. She's um also developing her own uh, thing at the side. She's getting some stuff together. Just renovated the house. So, you know, it's looking different. It's looking new. She's Far Rock's finest right now. So, shout out to her. Shout out to her. Of course, of course. But you, though. <laughs> Why? Booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> somebody, you know, somebody Boy, died Boy. around the corner from me in Far Rock. Don't look it oh. up. Yeah. I mean, they didn't die on the street corner, but, you know, somebody saw them by, like, you know, a deli and they just boop, boop. Oh. And on the way to the hospital. Yeah, unfortunately. That person has passed. Oh. But, Rest in peace. Yeah. That wasn't Far Rock's finest moment, but. Rest in peace to that gentleman, unfortunately. I hope I didn't know him. But you say that to say. I say that to say, what about you? I feel like you had an eventful uh, weekend. Me? Or at least an eventful, like, you know, bit of, like, you know, time. What, what what's, what's up, man? Me, personally? Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, something happened. <laughs> well, like I said, my one of my AKAs is ASAP Nappy. I'm not proud of it this week because, oh, man. This week, everything happened, man. Everything? Everything got happened, man. man. It's been an eventful week. So much has happened. I hope we have time to get to it all yeah, today. Yeah, we should. So, where do you want to start with? <laughs> Wait a minute. I wanted to start with you. <laughs> I felt like we danced over something just, just now. No? I did, I did my best. What do you mean you did your best? <laughs> oh, no, no. Today. It's just me. It's just the two of us. Hey. <laughs> we can podcast if we try. No. No. Oh, come on, man. I'm just saying, like, I I feel like there was something that we kind of danced over that happened in your lifetime. You know, maybe you, uh, you shouted out another podcast or something like that. Maybe you 
connected with another podcast? No. Oh, 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 my eventful week. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, that not not the ASAP Rocky dick pic leak. Okay, cool. Wait, what? <laughs> That's the story of you. You you saw it? You um, looked at it? We're gonna go start off with that. Oh yeah, my week was cool. Um, I went to the Joe Budden live show. Hey, shout out Joe. Yeah, shout out Joe. Shout out. Woo. Shout out Jada Stevens. Shout out everybody who was on the show. It was a dope show, lit show. My first ever live podcast that I went to. I went to see how it looks. And those those guys are, whoo-wee. They're setting it. they setting it. They are setting set. the bar. Setting they the bar. are really raising this podcast culture up there. And it was just amazing. One thing that really took me back, honestly, just for the sake of podcast culture, thing that took me back was being there in attendance. And I was sort of like by the front mm. to look back at the Beacon Theater full of seats of people watching... Just full the all the first row, the second one, the, the balcony, the second balcony, Packed everything house. packed the fuck out for people wanting to watch a podcast. <laughs> what damn, we gotta step this up. No, it just made me really think about the type of people that listen to podcasts. Like really it changed my mindset a bit. Now I wanna know what kind of people do listen to podcasts. Like you know, because you would think <laughs> that it would be like, oh man, you know, it'd be like a certain type of people who have like the attention span to sit for an hour and a half to an hour at a time to long form content. Mm. And, like you wouldn't think that not many people are interested in that. And it's like, no, it's like regular people, women, niggas, like everybody. <laughs> Like, you women know and I mean. niggas was at the function. <laughs> women and niggas was it's at the lit. function. It was crazy. Did they serve food? Did they serve food? Yeah, yeah. the Beacon Theater served food. Mad expensive. I got my six dollar water. Not Ew. soda. I know. Ew, Joe, what are you doing? It wasn't Joe. <laughs> no. He set the prices. That's you never know. Beacon. He could have discounted it. No, he had his merch there and everything. It was nice. Did you get anything? Oh uh, no. It, uh, yeah, I bought something for somebody else though. It was a friend of mine who I know watches the pod uh, and wanted to be there but couldn't be there. You sure so I, I made sure I got them something. You sure it wasn't a. No, I got them something. Oh, it was just dope. Oh, them? also, I saw Savon in um in his the Needs No podcast. See, Shout out to them. No, hang on. We were talking about this all before. <laughs> you were sitting there hyping it up, and I know Tone and me said, "Yo, <laughs> distract him." That damn duck. Get that damn duck out of here. No, me and him said you should have just at least leveraged that. You should. Oh been no, like, no, 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 no. Did he, he didn't ask you to go on stage? No, that was for a part of the show. Why didn't you not do like it? backstage to chill. I'm not going on. I didn't have nothing to say. The you po- have a podcast. The, the segment was about <laughs> flirting, like like <laughs> spit your best G to a girl. And for those of you who don't know me, I have no game. I can't, nah, nah, I can't nah, talk nah. to women I don't believe that. because I don't know. I don't like Cat. talking to people, so I definitely don't know. Has a I podcast. Don't like doesn't like talking to people. I don't. I like talking. You, my friend. I <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> talk to you. I care about you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't. I can talk to my friends who I'm comfortable with. I can't talk to strangers or people who I legitimately don't give a fuck about. And but what if they find and to spit game at a girl is like I. I just appreciate beauty from a distance. I don't want to interact with you because I don't want to ruin the image I've already built. In my <laughs> Maybe she doesn't with have a voice. Personality. Maybe she can't speak. But she has a personality. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it's trash. <laughs> I don't want any parts of that. Damn. And also, I want to make sure I'm in this very silly mood today. I want this podcast to go just like our conversation I ride home last week. <laughs> this, that was by far one of the funniest <laughs> motherfucking conversations we have ever had. And I want to make sure this podcast Yo, shout out to is the, in line. Shout, shout out, out to, to the dick pics at least. Shout out to the street because I missed it. Yo, <laughs> yo this dude... Is the worst shooter in the world. He opens the door. He's sick as a dog coming back from the podcast. But yeah, shout last out to week you. I was sick as shit. Shout out to you, man. You every through. every week. Like, us I, on I the took back. two weeks off, but you. I come in every day, man. Sicker and help. I'm every, here you, every you week with to it. You with it to cough on these microphones and feel bad. Whoever comes next, <laughs> J <Jay> Mad. <laughs> I'm moving my. I my, never my, talked my. on your mic. <laughs> you never know. It could be switched around. Just, Can we not? But exactly. you say that to say. I say that to say that you was in the car. You sitting there driving down. We sitting there going home, and he's like, "Oh, excuse me, I got spit, <clears throat> got all this phlegm in my throat." Opens the door. I'm sitting there thinking he's about to spit like outside. I'm like, "Okay, yeah, do your shit." He spits on himself. <laughs> How the hell do you spit on yourself? But dude? what did I say? <laughs> I missed the street. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. He just saw me open the car door, and turn around. <laughs> yo, I missed the street. <laughs> the fuck, you missed the street. I was like, yo, I missed. You said you had your ears to the street. Apparently, not your spit. Nah, I fucking missed, bro. I just spit, spit in my lap. Just... <laughs> I just spit in my lap. That's how you like it. 
No. That's wild. No. This nigga's nasty. I told y'all. We got him. We got him. You nasty motherfucker. <laughs> Just spit my lap. Then he walked out and he said, yo, drive yourself home. I was like, what? <laughs> and he did. Fucked up. Give me my car back. <laughs> But yeah, next week. Next week. Well, all right. Well, we still story. We have so many topics so, in our phone. This live show was amazing. I look forward. I'm I hope glad. we could do something like that one day. Yes, it's all of great course. for podcast coaching. As Joe That'll said, you know, there's so all the money that's being dumped in the podcast. Hopefully, they can look at things like that. Him selling out the fucking Beacon Theater. Yeah, and. So these companies and advertising and shits like that, they can understand how much money is in podcasting. So shit, man. It Monetize made me really, that. Yeah, it really made me think differently about how we're going to be moving to 2020. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Clear vision, new vision. Exactly. Shout out um, all that. Yeah. So with all that being said, topics in the phone. Where are we starting? You said something about these dick pics leaking, and okay. I try to stay far away from the So the you, you weren't on the internet. I don't try to. I only get it regurgitated to me from what you have done as investigative journalism. Cause... So here's my thing. <laughs> the thing about it was every day I felt like a, first, like I'm ASAP Nappy. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, ASAP Rocky apparently has a sex tape on the nah, internet of him on, having man. sex with a white woman. People were clowning oh. him and trashing on him. <laughs> I'm like, they was like, yo, his stroke game whack. I'm like, fam, how did how you, you know? How do you wait? Wait. They they watch they this. I know it's crazy it's insane I, it's insane, fam. Other than that, they try to say Steph Curry's dick pic leaked. They said Logan Paul from YouTube was out here sucking dick on camera, fam. It was insane. <laughs> the baby, fam, that was the, wait, see, wait 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 wait. That what was the one that took baby? me. That's Hang the one on. that took me on. Before we because say anything about him, safe. Before First we all, say anything about him, happy birthday to the baby. <laughs> of course. His birthday, yes. Happy birthday, John. I don't think that's the baby uh, birthday reveal that he wanted. Well, um, unless the thing maybe about it, he did. No, 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 no. Because here's the thing. it just The internet just wasn't safe. Because the thing was, apparently the other word that I kept hearing was these dick pics were fake. Okay. They were from other people. They were like from just porn Photoshop stars and dicks. shit. No, they would just take like like the one. They would, people were saying like I don't know, <laughs> but <'cause laughs> I don't do this. I'm just saying. What, I'm just saying what I read on my timeline because the timeline wasn't safe. It was like a ticking time bomb. Every time I went on my time bomb. bomb, it was like yo another dick. I was like ah, <laughs> get out of here Listen, for twelve hours. I don't want to turn into that back. podcast that talks about dicks. I know. Man. So I came back at sixteen. I was like all right, everything's cooled down. And then there's another nigga who's like, like what the fuck. Nah, I can't. Steph Curry, nah, I'm out of here. It's like, nah, it was fake, bro. Everybody calm down. Cool. Camilla Cabello's racist. I kind of guessed that one. But like, (laughs) Logan Paul's racist. Who didn't know? But (laughs) like, what the fuck? (laughs) Then the one that really got me was the baby. Because all I see is a, like, so like. Wait, you saw it? No, no, no. So here's the thing. (laughs) Women on my timeline kept talking about the baby. And I'm like, yo, that's why that thinking, person said that. I'm thinking, oh, what person? Nah. <laughs> oh, nah, nah. I just saw it in somebody's story. It said, like, the baby, and it said, hashtag recent. So I'm like, what? Yes. I kind of went. I almost found something. So here's my thing. Oh, shit. Women on the timeline kept talking about the baby. <laughs> and crazy. I'm sitting there like, oh, shit, you got a new song? <laughs> Yo, they never talk about niggas when they got new songs. So I'm thinking like, oh shit, he got a new song. Let me, I put his name in a little search bar oh, and shit. Nah. I'm in here singing. I'm like, oh no, Jetson <laughs> made another. <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh no! I have stuff. No! It's <laughs> not the Christmas present you wanted. Jesus Christ! Oh nah. Think about my grandmama and shit. <laughs> Why the fuck I go to the timeline to see the baby dick, <laughs> nigga? You just make a new bar for this whole song. You wrapped his grandma with his... Di- no! I didn't. You, you just did. Bar. You Never just song? But the That's thing not how it goes. You know niggas got to go to the dick right there. All right, whatever. But the point is, I was mad because I, I ended up stumbling upon it. But then people hit the word. It was fake. And oh, he man. responded. He was like, nah, it's fake. I don't send no dick pics. Because it was just Jesus Christ. <sighs> I, even though it's fake, I'm still mad. <laughs> I don't care. You don't want to I, I didn't sign up for that. I wanted, yeah. like, the internet, y'all owe me a baby song. Because <laughs> that's what Preferably I Preferably the one that you've been feeding Cry over. Crybaby, yes. It. I want. I need that. I need. I don't think it's ever coming out, man. Well, well, hold on. I, I was like, yo, I need that. <laughs> no, for, talk about the baby. Nah, you got to chill. Everybody's in timeout now. <laughs> timeout. <laughs> baby time. But <laughs> the thing about um, Camila Cabello, the girl from fucking Fifth Harmony, 
That's where she's her, from? Yeah, that's where she's uh, from. And she has like hit songs and shit that I don't listen to. I, it's not a music podcast. Mm, but no. she has these racist Tumblr posts from a Tumblr. I shared them I with saw you. that. That yes. I saw. So my question should be, she also came out and put out an apology, you know, being, she's very remorseful about it. And I would like to know, Akai, um, even when these white artists, because Justin Bieber did it recently too, when he mm. acknowledged the fact that he was singing the N-word, and it was just like, how do we feel, because you know, this is really prim- primarily a black topic, how do we feel about these artists who say this racist stuff in their younger years and then come out and apologize for it later on? Should we allow it? Should we be like, nah? Like, how do you, how do you feel? Honestly, I feel like everybody should be afforded a chance to, like, make mistakes. But when you're blatantly being, like, racist in that manner and it's a public thing, like, you're doing it to yourself. I mean, I can't blame you for something that you did long ago because it's not really hurting anybody. But it will hurt the perception of some of your fans. And I feel like if you don't take accountability for it, then something should be, like, you know, imposed on you. But... I don't know. I, I still want to cancel it anyway. <laughs> I, I remember we were at the strip or something like that, and it was like, I think the AMAs, the yeah, American yeah, yeah. Music Awards, and she was like performing. I was like, who the fuck is this? That's how I was saying. I'm like, it's funny and then she going to say something like that? And then it's funny because all the other people in there were like, oh, she's the greatest. I'm like, she's up. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were hating on her hard, though. I wasn't but hating. I was just saying my opinion. You were saying... Yeah, but that's... It that's wasn't so favorable. Hard. It wasn't favorable. Right. It was less than favorable. Less than? Less than favorable. I think it was regular. It was, it was, I think it was, it was regular favorable. It was equivalent to our tweets <laughs> all the way back then. Yeah, so <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, yes, it was. I didn't call her no type of racial slang. Actually, actually, actually. I didn't call her cream cheese. No, you had... <laughs> what? <laughs> what I, what'd I call her? Mayonnaise him? mouth. No. Yeah, what I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say nothing about that. I just... You got any tweets that you want to... Hmm? You want to be uh, accountable for before we uh, start attacking this person for not being accountable for? Oh, I'm pretty doing. sure I don't have any offensive tweets like that. I may have some offensive Facebook posts because I definitely <laughs> get those Facebook memories. That be anytime like, you pull up your Facebook memories and I you decide to share so it de- I get with so either of us, I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. <laughs> I get so embarrassed every day. Why is it an embarrassment though? Because of the things I used to say and how they're not acceptable today. It's just certain thoughts. I'm like, you could have kept that in your head. <laughs> Well, see, you should be given the chance to, like, learn from that. And that's how I feel about some of these people, because I know back when I used to say wild shit on the internet, it used to be like, you didn't, as a young person, you don't really understand the full gravity of your words. You don't understand the full scope that you're not just talking to your friends on your friends list. You're literally talking to the world. Mm. Yeah. You're putting it out there for the yeah. world forever to see. So it's not just in the moment, like a conversation, and you, it passes. No, it lives forever. Just like with these podcast episodes, that's why I want to try to be more responsible with what I say. Because at any given point, somebody could listen to anything I've ever said. And it could be taken out of context, or people can misconstrue it and turn it into something else. Or just take what I said. I could have said something crazy that I didn't necessarily mean. Just True. saying it in the moment in an attempt to maybe be funny, or be dashing, or daring, or whatever, that I didn't dashing. mean. You know, dashing through the hose. I'm sorry, it's the Dura taking over. But when's that Christmas comedy album coming out? It's never. Damn. Um. But yeah, I just feel like people are young. You gotta give them a chance to, you know, learn from their mistakes. And I think it's, you know, it may not be enough, but at least it is something that these artists are separating themselves from those views because they might have fans who feel that way about these races, and might be racist too. And that way they could be like, yo, they put a hard line in the sand and be like, yo, if you racist and you support me, I'm not cool with that. Like, that's not what I'm about. So don't try to bring yeah, that shit over that, here. Yeah, that's something I would be kind of like. And considering that these white artists have these giant platforms and these giant audience bases, you know, I don't think they're going to cure racism, but nah. I think it's best that they distance themselves from it. It's not going to end it, it but yeah. it, it is somewhat like, yo, don't don't put that with me. Like, that's not what we're doing. Yeah, you got an influence, so use it the right way, positive way. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, she's still canceled. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm just not going to listen to her next time. That's just me. But also speaking of young people, Carol Sanchez, the 16-year-old girl who staged oh, a kidnapping. Oh, yo. So I would like to try this on my end. Could I stage my own kidnapping? Okay, how do you want it to go? Um, do you want me to jump out the van? Bad. Do you want me to hit you? No, no. I want Stefan to be like, you know, like the one with the balaclava or something like that. And be like, hey, nigga. 
Back on that TV shit. Throws me in the van. Takes me down to like the Hudson River and is like, well, who are you hiding from? <laughs> oh, you actually want to throw you in the river? <laughs> My landlord. <laughs> Use bills. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I paid him. I paid him. Christmas came early. But um, nah, that's crazy though. Like, what what was the whole situation? Like, she faked her. Yeah, she staged it. She got her boyfriend and his friends who might be gang members. I'm not entirely sure. And basically, I think her mom wanted to move back to Honduras. Mm. And she wanted to stay in the Bronx. And <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hey, hang on. Hey, hey, we know some people that live who? in the Bronx. Who? I don't know anybody who I'm fond with that lives in the Bronx. What? I'm just telling you. I don't oh, know anybody man. who I'm fond with that lives in the Bronx. Not Adrian from the BX. Shout oh, out Adrian from the BX. shit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. See, look at you. Look Adrian at you. out here kidnapping me. No. <laughs> no. No. no, no. <laughs> yeah. See, watch. He's going to show up. That's why they, yo, that's why the search ended early. They was like, who did it? Because he kept saying his name on tape. <laughs> Agent from the BX, nigga, move. Get on the ground, nigga. Get, get on the ground. Because <laughs> you got to tell them to get on the ground. Where else are they going to go when you rob somebody? Get on the ceiling. You just start flying in the air. Woo-wee. Woo. <laughs> get on the ground. You can't be like, <laughs> get on the grass, nigga. No. <laughs> get on the concrete, nigga. It's just funny. Robbery directions are always the simplest shit, but it's like, you need it. You need it. You do need it because you need to know where you stand with the robber. You need him to know you're cooperating like, with okay, the robber. All right, all right. What we doing? But if you say something wild. You Open know. your cheeks. <laughs> uh, hey. You're going to have to shoot me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to have to shoot the shit out. <laughs> I'm going to still open your cheeks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I'm back to life, nigga. I'm back. Give me will, the gun. Will myself back to life. But yeah, oh, Carol Sanchez, she didn't want to move to fucking Honduras. So she staged her kidnapping. The niggas came out the van. They pushed her mom on the floor. I think they threw dirt on her. And they <laughs> took her in the van and they pulled the fuck off and drove around the block and why dropped her to, off. Wait, no, why did they push the moms? Because <laughs> they made it look do, real. Look real? But you know what's funny? All right. <laughs> Is what? That, all right. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, Evan, let me, all right. You just There's said nothing. you got to take account of <laughs> Yes. No, you're, you're wild. Right? You're, no, you're right. No, 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 you're wrong. You're <laughs> wrong. And you're, you're right. You, you're, you're right. Wrong. I am wrong. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Hold on. Let me make this sound right. Let me clean this up. All right. There's nothing funny about kidnapping, but in hindsight, <laughs> knowing that this was fake <laughs> and you ask your boyfriend to like, all right. I'm going to be with my moms, and I want y'all to, like, kidnap me, but make it look real. And your boyfriend's like, finally, I've been waiting to get some shit off about your moms for the longest. Why she always looking at me like that when I come over? Talk about ain't no good for you. I'll show you who ain't no good. <laughs> Push. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Buy my mixtape, bitch. <laughs> Just throws a mixtape at him. Ah! Yeah, crip shit, nigga. Ah! <laughs> yeah. What? I, I don't know. I, That's the dude. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yo. I don't think it's I got to make a citizen's arrest. Don't put that on Fabio. Don't do that. <laughs> don't put that on him. But I think it's just <laughs> funny because you. Have you ever had beef with like your significant other's parents or you just not the most favorable relationships with them? I'll get back to you. So, There's too many people that know. It's no, just that. No, 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 but it's just. I slightly, thought, slightly, niggas slightly. Niggas just took advantage of the opportunity. And, and they just said Wild out on moms. Yo, why'd you push her? You didn't have to do that. And she in the car like, why'd you do that? It's like, we had to make it look real. You snuffed her eight times. It's like, why, Jerome? <laughs> why is his name Jerome? I don't know. But the funny shit was they kidnapped her. They drove around the block and put dropped off in the exact spot that they kidnapped her from. And niggas was on the street like, yo, there's an Amber Alert for this bitch. Like, I just saw an Instagram post about you. Why are you on the street? And then she just confessed that it wasn't, it was staged. So people are very upset. They're angry. A little outraged. They're comparing her to the Jussie, Juicy, Smoothie A situation. And juicy. <laughs> and... I want to know, like, I personally feel like how I said before, she's young. People want her to face, like, go to jail, be incarcerated nah. for what she did. How do you feel? Because I mean, she's 16. Oh, well, jail's a little extreme for that, even though somebody could have got mm -hmm. way more hurt than they did. And it's, you're making light of an extremely serious problem that we have in society. People's tax dollars will fuck with, and I pay taxes. Me too. Sometimes. I but, pay taxes every year. 
Sometimes. Every I, other year. I pay taxes every year. Yes, no, I pay, I pay I taxes And I will be paying them again. All of them. No breaks. <laughs> no breaks. <laughs> I pay quarterly. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, that's something that's crazy because it's like, in that situation, I feel like community service would be helpful, at least. Because like, you, know, you made the community waste their resources. Yeah, because I'm like, yo, we all looking for you. And then, you, meanwhile, you was down the block from where you supposedly you got store? kidnapped. You in the store sitting there buying some shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You chilling with Ak. Oh, I got away. <laughs> <laughs> I got away. I can't Your believe it. Your mother's in the hospital. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? I'll pray for her. I mean, you can go visit her. I nah, sure let's is. pray. <laughs> let's pray. Yeah, let's pray. Give me some likes. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like, something like community service for something like that. But, yo, that just also leads me to believe, why couldn't you just sit down and have a conversation? You did all that to avoid a conversation. With your moms. You could be like, yo, I really don't want to go. I'm pretty sure they had that conversation, but they live in the Bronx, so I'm pretty sure that conversation went differently. How did it go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've had, I've tried to run away from home. Really? Yeah. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. You ain't never had a, like, yo, I'm out of here. I ain't never coming back. I didn't know where I was going to go. That's the thing. That's what I said. You're young. <laughs> we, I was probably like 11, 12 years old, mad. Some stupid reason my mom got like four blocks away. Yo, little man. <laughs> right back to the crib. I need the audio <laughs> of your mom saying yo, little man, because that'd be no, funny That wasn't shit. my mom. It wasn't? Oh, well, niggas, I still need that. Niggas though. on the street. <laughs> yo, little man. Oh, shit. Yo, let me hold a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yo, little nigga from Cross Street. Let me hold a dollar. Yeah, I got my and, and Nintendo 60. I ain't getting my Nintendo 64. You took your 64 with you? Yeah, I had nowhere to plug it in. <laughs> Why would you take a game since it was Because I ain't going to run away from home and let my mom have that. No. <laughs> it was mine. You didn't even have a TV. I don't care. I was fucking 11. <laughs> Can nigga? I don't know. For an 11 year old, you wasn't making some right I, moves. I was. I was 11. I was See? stupid. Okay, so <laughs> maybe she let, didn't, maybe we should she shoot didn't these kids some bail. Exactly. <laughs> She's 16. She didn't consider the gravity of everything. So I don't think I'm, I'm probably more like what you said, community service or something like that. Like she shouldn't have to go to jail. Yeah, that's, that's a, little a little bit yeah, harsh for a 16 year old who probably didn't understand the scope of it. Community and, service and family counsel. There you Probably. Go. Yeah. For that a free trip to Honduras. <laughs> We're still going. She's still on the plane. <laughs> exactly. I hate this shit. Exactly. Now, moving on to entertainment. One of the most anticipated movies of the year came out. Ooh. Star uh, Wars. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck about Star Wars. Damn. Only thing I care about is Baby Yoda. All I right. Think, I think he might have was in it. Think. Nah, he wasn't. No. Don't do that to me. You never know. You now watch I gotta watch it. this fucking movie. Yeah, watch it. Did gotta... you see it? No. Oh, I saw it. I didn't watch it. Wait, you did? Yeah, I watched it. You never stroke like. Oh. Hmm? Pause. Hmm? <laughs> you never strike me. me. Shut up. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Yeah. Your me. damn Smurf crimp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me. I'm... People watch the damn YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Listen, Mandalorian. Yes. Star Wars a movie, I'm not going to sit down for like two hours to watch it. I'm going to wait for it to come Are you like a Star Wars fan, though? Yeah. What if it was on the internet? Uh, You mean legally? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, legally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I imagine Disney Plus is going to put it on in like a month. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, so I'll just watch it there. Yeah. 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 I'll make sure of it. (laughs) Thank you. I'll I'll make sure you see it. Did you go see it in the movie theater? Of course. (laughs) So how was it? (laughs) Well, you know, <laughs> I ain't get the best seat. <laughs> get the best seats you in the ain't house. Shit. What? You ain't shit. I didn't get the best seats in the house, but overall, I enjoyed it. Did a they? Lot of, there's a lot of. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the movie. There's a lot of criticism about it from the, the the fan base of it, but I think that's just a problem with Star Wars. They have so much lore and universe and world building and just mm. what's in the main continuity and what's not and how things work. Like, there's no way to please everybody in such a revered f- fan base. Yeah. Like, the world of Star Wars. Like, those people are dedicated in that shit. They live that shit. Mm. Like, niggas are, would... They would probably die for Baby Yoda. You know, I like, actually had a co-worker that was, like, there, like, Thursday night. Like, he had his Star Wars shirt yep. and everything. I'm like, Really? And I told him, I was like, yo, I forgot Star Wars was even coming out. He was like, like yo, you look like he was about to existed. punch me in the face. I'm like, yo, chill. I told you. What you doing, man? People get very serious about yeah, it. Yeah. So but I, mean, I liked I, it. I enjoyed it. I didn't. I don't take all that 
world of Star Wars that series. Like, I like the original Star Wars movies yeah. with Luke Skywalker and all of that. And I've been enjoying the, the new trilogy that's been coming out these past couple of years. Like, I've enjoyed it. Oh, so really? I'm like, but like, when it comes to like the Han Solo and Rogue One yeah, and I didn't know all, about of that. this, that's... all this extra shit nah. they got going on and the Mandalorian, I don't watch all of that other stuff. Clone Mandalorian. Wars, I hear it's okay, but most people like it because it's cute Baby Yoda. There's With the actual show yeah, of it, Bill yeah, Burr's in it. Yeah. I'm probably gonna. I don't have Disney Plus. So I don't care. I'm never gonna see it. But like, I'm passing along. Dude. But my thing is that it's too much in the Star Wars world mm. that you have to take it to effect. So when people right. make characters make certain decisions, it can piss off an entire fan base. So, but I enjoyed it. It's a pretty good movie. All right. And I recommend it if you even if you don't watch Star Wars, it's a pretty entertaining movie. If okay. you want to just turn your brain off and watch action happen, yeah, okay. if you're into that, it's a pretty good movie. I'll do it. All right. Also in entertainment news, don't fuck with cats on Netflix. Wait, like, don't, like, fuck with cats on while Netflix. you're watching no, Netflix? No, no, no. The name of the oh. show is a document. It's a three-part documentary series called Don't Fuck With Cats. It's on Netflix. Oh, oh, yes. This is what you were telling me in the car. Ah! Yes. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. It's Sorry. an insane documentary series Mm-mm. that starts off as Mm-mm. some, like, Oh, I don't think it's going to be that serious. And then it gets serious. And then it literally goes into a deeper, darker criminal link. And I'm just like, fam, that shit is insane. It's not cool. It's a three-part series where a dude Fuck that kills a cat on camera. On sight, he should have been fucked up. Exactly. This Sorry. takes place in like 2011. And the people come together to find out who this man is. And as they gather more information to find him, the, it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And that shit is insane. Jeez. Like, if you want to watch it, I think it's like three parts. Every part's like an hour. It, it's insane. Also, moving on to entertainment news. Eddie Murphy was on SNL. Yes. Yeah, everybody was on it. I saw Tracy Morgan, Chappelle. That was the intro. That was the intro? Yeah, I think that was just the intro, the monologue. Damn. Tony, did you watch it? Real comic over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was doing a lot he of press. Talking about though. me, like I don't take comedy seriously. You these guys think over here? You be talking about me, man? Well, I mean, uh, nah, was it <laughs> was it a comedic moment? Did you feel like you know empowered? Like, was there like some kind of hmm? what what happened? Was it was it like the comedic was it everything that everybody Super Bowl ever wanted? Or something like? I mean, it's not, people liked it. People enjoyed it. I, I don't think it was like a moment. Oh. for the world, I saw a lot of people retweeting the picture though. That's it. But I don't think they but retweeted. Like, like, you know, it's like the skits and all uh, that didn't get retweeted or shared or like. So I'm. I, but from what I've read, it was a lot. It was like an ode to all of his old skits that he used to do when he was on SNL. Uh, so he redid a lot of those old skits, and people who know those old skits, they really appreciated what he did because he brought it back, and they were still very, very funny. I like I enjoyed out. the Gumby when Gumby. Oh, did, good! He did the Gumby. Oh, Gumby did the news. That was mad funny. <laughs> That was mad funny. I ain't gonna lie. That was very funny. Because <laughs> he had Michael Che and Colin Jost cracking the fuck up. I gotta see that. He's like, I'm Gumby. He's like, all right, Gumby, that's your time, man. You out of here. He's like, I ain't leaving. I'm Gumby, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> and they, they just broke characters on him, bust out laughing. And he's like, I'm Gumby. The people love me. I'll never leave. And everybody started clapping. He's like, all right, Gumby, you can stay. Fine, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he got up and left. That shit was mad funny. Um, no, right. I gotta check that out. Yeah, it was mad. That's funny. dope. Wait, that was that like, the season finale or something like that? Or? Yeah, ah. the last episode of the year. It was pretty, cool. damn, pretty, pretty cool. So, I don't think anything else happened. Oh, New York was voted the rudest city in the world. Man, fuck them niggas. I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah, I mean, nah, fuck that. Yeah, I me. Mean? Yeah, word. Oh, that ass, man. Fuck out of here, B. Word. Smack you niggas out. Y'all niggas bugging, boy. Bitch ass shit, man. Fuck out of here, boy. I smack you upside there with chopped cheese, my nigga. Word, fuck son. Word, nigga. We niggas nice out here. Niggas want us to get them in their fucking how do you mouth. Say we, you say, fuck out of here, man. How they gonna say we, how we gonna say we rule we the nicest niggas out exactly, here? Exactly. We nice as fuck. We the nicest niggas out here. Ain't nobody out here nice as us, Bullshit, nigga. Fuck man. out of here. Fuck out of here, B. I smack the fire out your mouth, Word. boy. You bugging. See, see, spin they block, man. Fuck out of here, man. Word. Word. Talk about Raleigh, North Carolina. Who the fuck? From far. You know right how many times I've been to Raleigh, North Carolina? And nobody took their shirt off and spent it like a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> Come on and raise up. <laughs> Take your shirt. Nobody raised up. They sat down. Nobody. <laughs> they don't know who I am. <laughs> they don't know you're a freak league out here. No, I'm not. <laughs> Listen, just because 
ASAP Rocky and all them niggas sex tapes leaking. Listen. Wait, you, yours is leaking? I hope not. Wait, what? When Wait, you have one? When yours leaks, it's going to be crazy. Hey, no, no, hold up, hold up. Because then, hey, then we can't do the pod no more. Aw, oh, damn. His mic turned off inexplicably. <laughs> Expeditiously. When your sex tape leaks, hey, we can't be friends hey, anymore. Hey, hey, hey. I thought that was a respectable thing. If you So leak, you going to stop being friends with a nigga because a sex tape leaked? If I see your dick... At any given point in time, we cannot be friends anymore. Is there a problem? <laughs> Is that a problem with you? Like, nah, nigga, you can see my dick and be my friend. <laughs> what? It should it be mutual? Fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. I just hope you know all the shit <laughs> I don't know that I'm it. never gonna do. I have not done anything like that, and you will not see anything. Thank you. At all. Me neither. I hope. I hope. A gentleman's handshake. If my shit ever leaked, I hope I get the same reception y'all gave the baby. Even though that's not his dick. Oh. Uh, Yeah, girls went crazy. I will. What if your shit go? What if your shit goes out in the world? Go, girls go crazy over. Ah! Ah, Yeah, shit crazy. I wouldn't want that to happen. That's weird. If girls went crazy over it. Yeah. Because then they don't like you for you. Exactly. Mm, I understand the dilemma. Yeah. The, they don't so, want to get to know. Hey, just stop laughing at me, Jay. Oh, come on. Oh, man. What else happened? Um, <laughs> That's not fair. Thinking, what else happened? Shut up. Everybody stop Y'all looking at me. you my point. <laughs> oh, okay, love and hip-hop. Man. Women don't like me for me. They don't. They don't like me for me either. I, I can't talk do. to women. I just told you that. No, you can talk to a woman. I can't talk to a woman. You, you put up a, a, a boundary for yourself. Mm-hmm. You feel like you're not going to be able to... What, what What do you think it is? What, for me? Yeah. Personally, I just can't talk to her. I don't have the interest to want to know anything oh, about Oh, well, it. that's different. <laughs> okay, so you don't have an interest. I can't, I can't talk. But you... Uh, I'm talking about even with a girl I find attractive, I don't have the interest to know. So it sounds like we got to get an attractive woman on the show that, like, you know... Then what? And, do what? And, and we, We've had women on the show before. Yes. They're all attractive in their own yes, right. Yes, exactly. Yes. But I feel lady. like Shout someone someone that you will probably be befuddled by. Like, oh, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what to say. Damn, if Candace Maxwell walked in the studio Who's right Candace now, Maxwell? Don't worry about that. But if she walked in this building right now, Wait you think I would say anything? I'm going sh- I would lock myself up, nigga. If there's any of our listeners or viewers that know who Candace <laughs> Maxwell might be. No, stop saying her name because then people what? look it up and they're going to start disrespecting me. Why? Like to fight niggas. Why would they disrespect you for liking her? somebody? Nah, because you know how niggas are. Yo, you like her? Yeah, you love her, bro. Yeah. You know, men always are just, men are trash at like, like supporting their friends in their romantic endeavors. Yes. <laughs> you be like, you be yes, with your are. girl who you like her a lot. And niggas make fun of you for liking your girl. Oh, you like girl. your girl? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you love a nigga. Pussy nigga. <laughs> yeah, you love a nigga. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. You love a boy ass Give her nigga. a kiss. Yeah. Mwah, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, you used to do that to me too. No, I was affectionate with my girl wait, in the diner one time. Hey, hey, hey. Was over nah, nah, nah. Yo, look nah, at this. Look off, at Evan. Look off, at Evan. Nah, first off, look first off, Evan. that was some shit I wasn't expecting, and I saw it. I was like, oh, look at this nigga. <laughs> See, look at him. What oh, cut it up. What was I supposed to do? This is you. This is literally. <laughs> please watch you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why are you? He was. He was Why all up on him. That? Why? Because that was you. That was a perfect adaptation of you in that boo. That's what I'm supposed to do with my boo at the no, time. No, personal space is a thing. <laughs> That's my boo. I ain't seen nah, it in a while. I ain't see that in a while. <laughs> I, ain't I ain't never seen that. I ain't never, never seen, seen that. Never seen that type of Yeah, you act real different when you got your boo around, apparently. That was different. What am I supposed to do? Tone, tone. If I could... Somehow scan my around brain. Women. Am I different around No, nah, no, nah, he's mad different. Nah, no, Tone said different. that too. Tone was like, yo, Evan started standing up and shit went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have like a nigga song go on? Just one video. Nigga, we just need one video. No, we don't. We, we need don't. one video. No, we don't. Thing. Yes, we do. We don't need any of that. Tone, what you doing Wednesday? <laughs> you doing what? No, hey, hey, hold up. What you, what you doing Wednesday going to Thursday night? What are you doing? Kwanzaa? Let me know. Yeah, yeah, Umoja. Yeah. <laughs> Kuji Jakulia. Whatever. <laughs> yo. Kuji <laughs> Whatever. Nah, just let me know, Tom. Let I'm me know. I'm just saying. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> you ever with had Airborne a nigga song and go on? Don't worry. No, nah, because I the thing, <laughs> when, when the thing happened with Tone, shit was like, song came out. I was like, yo, Tone, this your shit. Go crazy. <laughs> 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 As if Tone was about to start, like, turning to Chris Brown. <laughs> Some 
<laughs> so I'm getting crazy with it. <laughs> Shout you out can't to- tell a nigga to go crazy. <laughs> and they just like, ah. <laughs> so that's the way Tone describes me in the, when he saw me with the, with the young woman. <laughs> you went like, crazy? He started standing up and went crazy. Did I go crazy, Tone? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he said I went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's going crazy. He's going crazy. What were we talking about? Love and hip hop. Love and hip hop. Women, there you go. love and hip hop. <laughs> Women say, talking about communicating with your significant other. Love and hip hop. Joe was on it. Well, as always, shout out to Joe. Joe was on there, you know, in the predicament with his baby mom, Cynthia Santana. Uh, and they were getting into an argument about why they broke up. And he was sitting Indian style. She was yelling at him. And then. Outside of that, because this won't be either be about Joe and his situation, that's all on them and what they do is on them. That's their situation. It's their private business. But the general topic, because on the timeline, I saw women complaining about Joe's position in the, the argument, in the exchange that he had with his baby mother, oh, saying that, oh, he was sitting down Indian style. That's mad disrespectful. You gaslighting her. You making her seem crazy. Hey, when niggas talk comedy to you and make you see, and question everything you say and make you seem like you the crazy one. What the like, fuck? niggas is disrespectful. And I'm like, huh? Disrespect. I'm sitting comfortably, and we're trying to communicate to each other. What more do you want from me, you beast? <laughs> no, no, Talk about terrible. it. <laughs> that's okay. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. So they're going after Joe because he was calm in an argument. So I would like to ask you: Is there an argument etiquette? Is there a way to argue? Like, what did you want him to do? Well, what what, from, what, what are men supposed to do? From past experience, I know I've handled arguments very Terrible. badly and terribly. And it, it got out of hand. And I'll be the first one to take accountability for that. But learning that, that just seems like a woman's kryptonite, apparently. Oh, you I'm calm crazy? as fuck. <laughs> no, I went calm. <laughs> you went crazy? I'm going calm. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I did go crazy those other times. <laughs> what you mean? No, that waitress wasn't looking at me. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Shit. Listen. <laughs> Throw my fucking phone at you. <laughs> Listen. Did you go that crazy? No. All right. Yes. <laughs> Redacted. Um. <laughs> Listen, I don't care. We out here taking it to the next level. Every yeah, I went is. crazy. <laughs> Y'all threw a chair at us. <laughs> Yo. No. no. <laughs> Balls, <laughs> How are we supposed to argue with our significant other? I feel like you that is the <laughs> BET awards up in this bitch. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'll definitely say this. It should be a calm thing. You should be able to be like, you know, adult about it. Because, I mean, if, you, if you're going to have a disagreement or an argument, especially outside, you can't just be like, ah! You can't get mad. You can't throw furniture. Because there's going to be a lot of other factors Because there's factors so much involved. furniture in the house. You yes. can't throw all of yeah. it. Come so on. go to Ikea, dude. Let that sink in. Why do you have a picture <laughs> of a sink outside of a front door? Because you got to let that sink in. 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 You're not a real comedian. <laughs> you got to throw. <laughs> no. You got to throw a sink in somebody? No. So it can sink <laughs> in? <laughs> no. You did the math? <laughs> you broke that down. So basically, in an argument. <laughs> um, yes. Yes. Mm. No, I feel like the calmer you are, the more of a resolution you should be able to reach. Because if both party, parties are calm in that sense then I feel like you can, like, see it objectively. Instead of just going after, like, you know, oh, well, uh, I'm just going to be mad at you and, and vent. And yeah. Just they, say, they say hateful ah. shit to, to hurt your feelings. Because, I mean, uh, I'll be real. Like, some people just want to vent. They mm-hmm. just want to vent about Get whatever's going on. But you should approach it in a calm manner so that way you can do that. Yeah. If you feel like you're venting at me and the fact that I'm calm is fucking your vibe, that's something... You. Yes, a fact. Get there. I'm bitch. sorry. Yeah, it... <laughs> I, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, come on, man. I, I shouldn't have said that. After. Yeah, I apologize. Oh, that's my fault. I don't apologize. No, I do because I thought that was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should because if that's the issue, if that's the issue, yeah, that's a, that's a little crazy. <laughs> like I'm you sorry. You just said that speaks to that person. Yeah. At that point, they're projecting their own shit onto you instead of like for me. I argue. I don't argue. I look for understanding. I okay. speak for understanding. I look for understanding. I try to find a common ground for both of us. Mm. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I am not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just going to give you my honest opinion on how I felt in the moment about whatever the issue at hand is. I'm going to be honest with you. 
and give you that full bare honesty. I want the same in return, but I'm only saying it not to hurt your feelings because I'm going to be as respectful as possible. Mm -hmm. So that way we can reach an understanding. But I feel like once we get to the point of arguing and talking and we're trying to talk over each other and like at that point, you lose nothing. We're not doing anything productive to the point of why we even initiated talking. So I just immediately I shut down and I just don't talk. And that's my that's the issue that I've been. Has that with. worked? No. <laughs> Be right on. No. Not at all. Never. Not not a once. But do you all feel of like... them have left me for other niggas and are happy? <laughs> I'm sorry. They on Wendy Williams going crazy. <laughs> Yo, King. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> what is Wendy Williams on anyway? Word, I knew the answer. If you gotta go to, <laughs> if you gotta ask her for, what? I mean, would you take advice from Wendy Williams? Would I know? Would you ever ask her, Wendy Williams? Yeah. No. Why? Because it's my relationship. That's our business. That's private. I'm not gonna. That's like posting your relationship issues on the internet. Mm. That's like a, when niggas apologize to their girl and vice versa on the internet. Why mm. you tell? Why you apologizing to me? I ain't do nothing. Unless they disrespect them in public. I don't even... That's still not a public thing. Like, to me, even if you disrespected somebody in public, you shouldn't have to apologize to the public. In a way. Because to me, it feels weird. Because then you you start a trend of, like, every time something happens in your relationship, you got to let the public know. Like, yo, we good. It's like, nah, y'all, y'all caught us in a moment. We going to fix it. Privacy. Like, I'm not going to apologize to y'all. I'd like to play devil's advocate. Though. Go ahead. Now, let's say this is on you. You, as a man, you, you get, like, you know, ousted, and it's found out that your girl cheated on you publicly. She went around. She was, like, you know, seeing somebody on the side, and everybody knows it, that, she like, she was seeing somebody on the side. And then you, as a person, you get disrespected, and you feel like <laughs> you just can't play clips in the background while I'm trying to get my shit off. Oh, Damn. Oh, nah. Nah, I'm sorry. You're talking, bro. Get your shit off. Nah, you, you know how point. distracting that is. To I just, just want you to just talk. You can't just show me Wendy Williams in the background. I'm not going to be unfocused. No, nah, I'm saying. I the, the biggest thing I'll say is if somebody is blatantly <laughs> disrespecting you, like publicly, it might do something to you. You might feel a type of way. And you might, like, want somebody to kind of, like, I guess reassure. I did something one time that I did something publicly that I didn't think disrespected my ex, so it indirectly disrespect. She mm. felt disrespected by it. Wait, you guys were going out during yeah. that time, or oh, yeah. okay, okay? And I did something, and it. She told me that it. She felt disrespected by it. Mm. Now the way she went about it was not <laughs> the best of ways. <laughs> told me to kill myself, and you a bitch ass nigga. Why? Fuck you. Go kill yourself. Oh my. What? Crazy. Nigga. Crazy, right? <laughs> That's she wild. She's got a family. She happy now, bro. <laughs> what you want me to do? Blessings and peace and all prayers to them. Exactly. But I've had that. So but like That's... you were saying, like, I've done things like that, but I didn't apologize to the public. I didn't make another post to be like, hey, everybody, I said something that offended this person. So I'm just letting y'all know to let her know I'm sorry. <laughs> it just, it feels weird. It turns, it, it. It makes your relationship, it adds in another element to your relationship. It invites a, uh, mm. another element to your relationship that's not needed. So even if you do it in public, mm. I understand that. But that has to still be between you two to understand how to fix that. Because I think it's uh, you, you start making a weird game out of like, yo, don't tell me, tell them. Because then uh. I'm trying to make you feel better. I'm trying to recomfort you. Like, why do I go to them? They ain't do nothing. They not in this. But it's for just, some people, it might it's not seem enough. It's just an innocent bystander. Some people are influencers, and I understand that. You Like, when it comes to racism, posts and shit like that, yeah. and, you know, but, like, you don't got to apologize to the world about your private relationship. It's the same way with, like, how I say amongst niggas. Men have relationships, and we don't go to our boys to tell them how great the relationship is going most True. times. 90% of the time, we're not going to, yo, I love my girl. So no, because then that's when yo you like her, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, you love a nigga. Hey. You always go to vent sometimes and complain. Yeah. So it's like even if that party only sees the worst side of it, don't invite them in and don't make them a part of your relationship. And please don't make them a factor into how your relationship weighs in, going good or bad. Mm. It's stupid. Mm. Mm. 
it ultimately is it's unnecessary. I don't I don't believe that. And if you're gonna argue with your girl, y'all gotta find a way to, to what works best for y'all. Because like I said, I try to like look for understanding yeah. that hasn't worked. So <laughs> I've taken a step to the other side to get my shit off. Damn, so hasn't worked. I guess we are gonna have to find somebody you know, else. Shit, both of them have gotten me the same result. One of them did it expeditiously faster than the other. Shit. <laughs> me shutting down and not talking. Has you know led them to go off and find other people, which is fine. Mm. But like when I tried to take a step to that other side to get my shit off, <laughs> she expeditiously. Damn. Son, that baby got to be like one now. <laughs> it's just you got to crazy. You can't say that shit anniversary like got to be coming no, up. Come on, man, stop doing this to yourself. <laughs> Myself is my. What? <laughs> I don't care. What you gonna you do? Sure? What you gonna do? Get a divorce? Ooh, you'll show me. <laughs> what you gonna do, bitch? I can't. Give a fuck. He wants this live podcast to happen by the end of the year. It's gonna happen. Right. <laughs> you sit there wild. <laughs> Tom's like, yo, we got five minutes. Like, I don't got seventeen other topics. <laughs> <laughs> Let's blaze through them. All right, lightning round. <laughs> Talking to your girl at night on the phone every day is that a must? It used is to be that the, a go it or used no? to be the way, but nah, nah. I'm sorry. You too old for that. But Listen, even in the younger days, it's just even useless. if I had unlimited, like, even if it was nights and weekends, it's useless. It, like if we don't live together, don't call me at night. The right side of my face my has cancer. Life. Like, come on, man. Like, you Word. know, the phone's right Radiation here. Radiation. I should have just. Shoulder. You know what? A nigga should have been smart. Put it on speaker and put it like somewhere. Oh, just... nigga should have been smart. And hung up. That went on with his life. <laughs> <laughs> what fuck you talking about? I thought it was. See, I, I and rocked I had no with problem it. telling a girl. No, I'm not calling you. I have nothing to talk about. Well, I'm okay. not talking to you. I have see, nothing you to talk really about. Really, just don't talk to women. I don't talk to <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's very obvious. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. There's nothing to talk about. I'm playing what? 2K. I'm watching oh, YouTube videos. Come on. No, you, you ain't that kind of nigga. Come you on. You rather watch YouTube videos? No, than no. You're, to me? Yes. Nah, hold up. You're creative. <laughs> yeah, so you're probably just, you know, doing some yeah. creative shit. I could be sleep. If you don't live with me, like that, to me, it, it takes all of my attention to be on the phone. So you're taking me away from everything else. So if uh, I need to give you all my attention in the form, I, I don't want to use it on the phone. Well, if you got AirPods. Come in person. Maybe the AirPods might work. Never doing that. No. No. Taking, I don't want to listen. No, I'm doing something. Like I, not putting all my attention into that. It's no. Candace Maxwell. I'm, I would arrest myself. I would lock myself away and throw away the fucking key. Damn. Like, you see how niggas act over Georgia Smith, all that lusty, nasty shit. I'm afraid that that part of my brain might get awoken if I'm around Candace Maxwell, and that that's super oh. inappropriate. That's that's no. I would never do that to a woman. I can't do that. That's Why'd disgusting. you point at this chair as, as if she would? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> have to speak it into existence. She'll be in that chair. She might be over there. Oh, no, come on, son. don't do that. <laughs> watch it hard already. Come on. Oh, no, nigga. Yo, the internet better watch out. That's weird. No, got... get out of here. Trash for that. <laughs> Ew. Trash for Ew. that. Ew. All right. Um, <laughs> Uber. <laughs> Uber delivery driver delivers the food to the restaurant and then. <laughs> Go. She goes into the building to give the person the food, and as the person walks away, she goes to the side to the mailing part and picks up people's packages and exits the building with people. G-shit. Shh, come on. G-shit. There you go. That was going to be my drama to mama, but I'm just flying through topics because we, we got to end the show soon. Hey, if you ain't tipping there. Hey. All right. Something different. Your girlfriend is jealous of your homegirl that you've been friends with from before you met her. How do you handle that? Oh, I think I saw a video on that, too. That's, um... See, that's, I feel like that's a, a another another episode. That's a whole, that's other, a whole other topic. Trump like, got impeached, like, bro. That shit ain't real. What? That shit ain't real. What are you talking that about? That shit ain't they real. That shit ain't real. That's a conspiracy. That's a conspiracy, my nigga. I mean, I got the paper and everything to see, but I that shit ain't, it ain't going to stick with that. It's just what an impeachment means. I think that's what people don't understand. Yeah, exactly. And even if they get him out, like physically... The physically. next nigga up. <laughs> you drag him. Yes, please. By the hair. Well, not by the hair. By by his hands. It's tiny. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just nice for that to be on his record. That's what I think. Personally. On his record, still. Even if it doesn't mean anything to his position, he of power would use right some. Now, sh- he would a nigga like that. And I hate saying that. About, nah, he would. In you history. know, I. Yeah, you can. Flip it took a you. lot. You can flip it all you want. Just you, to get me. You're in They knew how influential I was. I was the best president ever. I sold so ever. many flat tummy tees. So, 
<laughs> you said influence. I just started thinking I mean, about. I hit my quota. Just imagine the president just on IG wilding, <laughs> just trying to sell go shit. crazy, <laughs> go <laughs> flashing over. <laughs> oh man, White House and over <laughs> for the press. Do it for the press. Yeah, do it for the, the press. Ah, do it for the press. <laughs> See, we got the four or five on the back of the maggot. Tell me what you do for four or five. Tell me what you want. No. <laughs> I might buy an extra truck. <laughs> Listen, all I know is the next nigga to come in is not a nigga we want coming in. No, it depends on who you vote for in 2020. No, Either way, we even, vote for who? Not even. Mike fucking Pence. Mike, leave them in suspense Pence. That's not cool. I don't want that shit happening. That nigga looks like he already died. <laughs> and they just grabbed his skin onto his fucking face. That's not cool. He looks like he already died. You didn't see the picture? Oh, nah. Nah. You think it looked that... like Darth Vader from the original Star Wars movie? <laughs> when they took off his mask? No, man. And the bald nigga with the scar on his forehead was like, my son, I don't know you, nigga. Ew, nigga. Ew, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing? Exactly. Fuck out of here. Get away from me, Damon. No, I'm just saying that in that case, uh, show me, nigga. <laughs> He looks dead already. He looks dead Fam, already. Fam, even him. throughout all the process, the election is coming up in the next nine to ten months. Yes. He won't be there long enough to do anything besides no, look stupid. No, nah, not even. What? Yeah, because uh, Anybody, I remember seeing... I don't think there's no appointments in that time frame where you can appoint a Supreme Judge and all that, that shit. That don't matter? All That's these regulations and protocols that they can put in place before then? And then whoever come in next, I'm like, yeah. The first hundred days that Trump was in office, he was sitting there listening kept down everything to he was doing. He kept trying to back what Obama was doing. I know. And whoever comes in next and whatever he's going to do in the next nine months, going to say, all right, all that crazy shit you was trying to do, all right. All I know Enough. is we should Enough at least pay attention to it and at least be actively exactly. a part of our, our government's, like, you know, like, you know, shit going off. Because that, that's crazy. <laughs> What you just said is the most important part about it all. Just be Because even though we are not a political podcast, but at, people should take the responsibility to pay attention to what's going on and understand the power that you have as a voter because you have the power to change this shit. When we had that giant impeachment hearing, whether if you're you know, Republican, Democrat, whatever your party is, you got to watch these people go on stage and tell you their position and where they stand on yeah. it. And now you get to see how niggas really feel. So guess what? When it comes time to vote for them, you can be like, hey, I don't agree with you. No. Yeah. We out of here. Exactly. So just do that. Shit, man. At the end of the day, we living in the same country. Republican, yeah. Democrat, Independent, whatever. Green to... Party. Exactly. We all still in the same country. Let's do for us. Exactly. USA. No. <laughs> USA. USA. Uh, go crazy. Go crazy. Yo, it's just shit, bro. Go crazy. Son, that's nuts. <laughs> Mad flat tummy T's going crazy. <laughs> They getting they fashion nigga. Half like off, that. half off. Christmas special. Present Nova. Is <laughs> <laughs> that present Nova? White House Nova. Present Hova. Is <laughs> that shit, bro? Hova. That crack. <laughs> <laughs> shit like crack cocaine in the 80s. Shit hit the streets hard. Son, when Trump hit the timeline with the red and white. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Sweatsuit. He's going like to have so many books out after this. He's going to be. He really going to be in his bag. I'm sorry. I know. But. Christmas is coming up, and Christmas. we are hitting the end of the Christmas. show. So what are we doing this week? What are your plans? Spending time with the fam, getting my shit off, trying to hide up in the back cave, you know, do some work. That's it. <laughs> work. Work. And the work. Far Rockway's finest? Far Rock's finest. Okay, Get so we're going to do that. I'm going to be, hopefully, not in the strip club. We're getting ready to celebrate Kwanzaa. <laughs> we lit. Kwanzaa! <laughs> Episode 76. Hey! We lit. We out this bitch. Peace the fuck out. We'll see y'all niggas next week. <laughs>